So hi, my name is Dr. Nicole Truesdell. I'm an anthropologist by training, an abolitionist scholar and teacher in practice, and also the founder and creator of Abolitionist Dreamscapes. And what this is, is a creative space that I, um, that I conjured when I left higher education in 2021, because I found the institution's walls, the walls of the classroom were a little bit too confining, especially as we are seeing structures and institutions heavily shifting since 2020. And in that shifting, I decided to shift out of institutional space and come into the public in order to teach and create. Teach about the ways oppressive systems has a hold on our mind, body, and soul, and therefore the concept of the human. And what does it mean to take that back and reimagine the human and humanity through a Black queer lens? And in doing so, that expands us, that opens us up to new possibilities, new ways of knowing and being that can help us understand what it means to create new futures in the present that do not keep reproducing the same type of oppressive systems that we're all beholden. And, two. and so I'm applying for the NAACP um, Power Shift Entrepreneurial Grant as a way to help shift power through different experiences. Because what I do is I teach in the public through my social media accounts like um, TikTok and YouTube and IG, also through my Patreon and my podcast. But I want to be able to create more in-person and virtual experiences that allow us to imagine what an abolitionist landscapes and soundscapes can actually look like now. How do we conjure to collectively in the present so that our futures are one in which we have futures for our children who we are now having to see are also facing the harsh reality that the worlds that we thought we were living in are no longer. So if the world that we are living in has to be remade, what does it mean to be intentional in that remaking in the public? And that's what I want to be able to create experiences with and the NAACP um, funding would help me do so. So welcome to my abolitionist dreams. Thank you.